Yeah, I got a few. I got a call a few weeks ago from our guy Noli Knows, and he said, "You know what, boss?" I said, "What's up, Noli?" He said, uh, "I think I did my job." I said, "What you talking about?" He said, "I think I made unders great again." <laughs> Cause everybody's betting unders <laughs> nowadays, man. But yeah, it's it's a it's a great look, and uh, some is. of the greatest cappers that I know, like that are really really sharp. Uh, one of them told me before that um, he really admired No League's under picks because throughout all his years that he that he capped sports, it took a long time. He said he was well into his forties when he realized that the under was the best bet on the board at all times. And it is. It, 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 you could re- actually break it down to where, you know, just, just simply put, you know, I'm already winning at the beginning of the game. You got to beat me to get me out the under. So, you know, it's a great bet right there. But this one right here is set up for a great under right here, Georgia and Texas. I mean, I think, the of course, the public wants to see points, points, points with yours back. Uh, they figure uh, that last little run that uh, Georgia had, with uh, Carson Beck, looks like he he they want to play good football, but when the big boys line up like this, it's got to be a chess match. There's no other way to do this thing, but it, at least it's going to start off a chess match or something. But um, I know the under is live in this one, but I also like Georgia in this one. Uh, I, I, I'm not sold on. I'm, I'm, I don't think I ever be sold on Sark. Um, after the job he did on USC back in the day, I don't think I could ever be sold on Sark. But um, I mean, he does. He did put together a great team, great running back, t- dual quarterbacks, and this year, what's uh, not being talked about a lot is the defense. So the defense is a lot better. But this Georgia team, they bring that real Southern size and a whole bunch of um, other aspects like that. So I mean, Georgia is beatable in this spot. But I mean, when do you get to get Georgia plus four? I mean, shit. That's a that's. I mean, wait, maybe it comes out to a field goal and I win by a point. But I like uh, Georgia in this spot right here. It might be something I might bet as a the Saturday sits on. It's gonna be a late game for us, four thirty. So um, you know, on a good day, I'll probably bet it. On a bad day, I'm gonna be uh trying to go get some Mount West money to save the day. Anybody gonna play this one right here? Uh, I don't know. This is a tough matchup, boss. Um, who has Texas beat this year? Um, no one. Um, this is going to by far their toughest matchup of the year. Kirby smart, man. I mean, he's won national titles here for Nat for Georgia. He is the new Nick Saban, so to speak, um, of college football. Now that Nick Saban's gone, you already touched on it, boss. Ever since Steve Stark got caught up for drinking on the job over there at USC, man, I, I've been kind of off him, man. Uh, you know, we saw what he did in the NFL. He got fired right away. I mean, don't get me wrong. What he's doing at Texas right now, he's got every resource possible. So he is doing his thing over there. He's got two quarterbacks that are going to be first round talent guys. And it's like, what do you do at this point? Um, but with that being said, man, Georgia is a plus four, man. Like, how do you not take that, man? You know, I don't have anything in this game because something's fishy in this one. Maybe Texas shows us something that they are the number one team in the nation and Georgia gets two losses um in before week eight you know before week nine um so if that happens it's absolutely wild and co- but what we're seeing in college football right now guys everyone out there in the chat you're seeing what's going on in college football it's wild things that are going on right now are crazy Think crazy things happen every year but this this year is kind of wild because there's no clear cut number one team yet to, in my eyes at least um it was in my eyes it was ohio state and look what happened last week um so with that being said it's it, it's a tough one i'm off this one guys Wine is – now, being that you spoke about that one, though, Wine, um, when you say that Texas, right, hasn't really played nobody or really beat nobody, I would I could say the same thing for Georgia as well, especially since they lost to Alabama. I mean, they beat uh, – they barely got out of Kentucky. Uh, they beat Auburn. Um, and they beat a Mississippi State team that you're supposed to beat um, at this point in time. So yeah. technically, maybe that's going to talk me off this game altogether, or both of us. Technically, they about even as far as not being, you know, beating no real notable team, especially since Georgia lost to Alabama. So I don't know. This game is kind of a toss-up here. Uh, I could just imagine 
the looks on those Texas kid faces if they beat Georgia right here, though. So I don't know. I might lean towards that side, but I don't want to take Texas and give up four. I could, I could, if I could do either side, Georgia or Texas, at a three, but at four, it's it's a no go. Let me see if it's still at four. It's all the way up to a uh, five in some places. So Texas minus five, that makes you want to go back to Georgia. <laughs> what about you, JT? <laughs> About this one, man. Now I don't have a play in this game, but I do like that plus four. Shoot, if you can get a plus five, I'll love Georgia with plus five. Like you said, both teams really haven't played anybody. Texas has played with uh Monroe, uh Michigan State, uh UTSA. And you know, we talk about their defense, but look at the who the defense are going against, you know. So yeah, they're gonna look outstanding playing against those type of teams. Yeah. This is a great matchup right here to see what their defense is gonna be made out of right now, right? Georgia likes to play smash mouth football. Wine broke down on the coach, you broke down on the coach, the offense. Man, how can't you not take Georgia plus four or plus five? I might go ahead and lay that, man. Not official play, but I might lay that. Sounds it not, sounds real good. How can we not at least tease Georgia in something plus yeah. eight, something like plus nine, like how do we not take that? You know, almost getting double digits. Are they getting that, that? This team's a national title. Like they have the guys to win a national title. They have the coach that's been there. That's done that, you know, um, repeatedly, you know, give or take. He does, you know, the coaching staff does turn over because these guys get head coaching jobs at other spots, but it's still Kirby smart. I, I don't know. It, it, it's a tough one, guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't wait to talk about this one on Saturday. Yeah, maybe it'll sit well with us on Saturday. I mean, after talking it over right here, I, I really got mixed emotions. But I like what you're saying with a teaser. I mean, the six-point teaser, it's at five right now. You get a smooth 11 with Georgia. When in the last, what, five years have we got a plus 10 with Georgia? Oh, man, that's crazy. And you think Texas is going to run through them like that? Nah. Everyone's and on Alabama Texas. Can run that's through the crazy like thing. That. Everyone's on Texas in this spot. Well, obviously, because the, the line is going up. So, shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Shout out to our chat, man. Gravy Best, Jay Peasy, Billy Breeze came through, Nasty Nate. Salute to y'all, man, on the Wednesday tapping in with us. And all these hundred something people that's watching us right now, we appreciate y'all too. We hope y'all win some money. But um, I don't have anything else to say. You guys want to make sure you go follow these guys, though. I don't do this. To for people not to get followed and their hands and uh well let's go with JT first man JT you know my boy is in there already man so let them know where you gonna be at this week and uh you know we got we got to go through that with you like what's up JT well man shoot this week I'll be leaving for Dallas tomorrow I leave 11 a.m in the morning out of Sacramento I gotta go to some convention out there um, but definitely we'll have my laptop and my notepads with me to be capping and getting stuff done within meantime. But to follow me, get my plays, you see the Twitter or the X handle right on here. And, you know, you can always find me with the who banging family, man. This is this. This is I feel like home, man. Yeah. Let, I, well, you know, I heard through the grapevine you had some stuff going on uh, at pubs, too, on Jimmy show and everything. I mean, everybody loves you, man. So let them know where they can find you with that stuff, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I appreciate that. Well, you know, start off from here, man. You're giving me the, the opportunity here on Who Banging Sports. So I appreciate you for that, man. You know, that's that's all love. Jimmy, Um, you know, the NFL Pub Hub in the morning on Sunday, I believe it is. Um, You can catch me there. Um, uh, Dabby Cab, maybe you might find me in the Saturday morning. It just all depends on my availability, but you can't find me on those two shows as well. And always here on Wednesday. Yeah. And of course, my guy Wine Time, he's all over the internet. He's like a couple steps away from being on uh, NBC Sports or something. But uh, <laughs> oh, let him know where you're gonna be at Wine. I know you do. You do Jimmy Show a, a, a lot, right? You and Cab do. A, college football over there i want to come join y'all one friday when i'm not working yeah. man but my work hours yeah. throws me off yeah oh yeah for sure boss yeah um catch me over at pub sports you know i'm on there on wednesdays and fridays wednesdays with jose in the mornings uh talking about the college football fridays with jimmy talking about college football always a good time with those guys man um catch us over there saturday mornings uh tailgate with them as well and then catch me over here man boss in the sauce man my favorite show though this is Boston sauce, man. That that that's my favorite show, man, to do. It, it always will be, man. It, it makes my week. I really enjoy doing that. So catch us there, man. And then I'll be on the live stream throughout the day. 
um, with other channels, with Pub Sports, you know, other channels as well. Um, but yeah, man, let's let's keep doing what we're doing here, man. Um, we're cashing tickets, man. And uh, we've got a family over here at Pub Sports. Shout out to JT that he's part of it, man. I'm glad that he's here on screen with us talking these games, man. It's a blessing to be here with you guys as always, man. Cheers. All the time, man. And uh, just for those who know that uh, we, we're about 90% sure uh, my guy, Big Ragu, is going to be coming back with us on Saturday. Oh, yeah. So yeah, he, he, he already sent Rattles his back. games in. He, I think he's oh, ready he's, to go. He's fired up. He's fired up. He, that's I'm probably what he up. needed, just one week. He needed a bye yeah. week, you know, from the show so he could bounce back harder. But that's it for me, man. We're going to get up out of here. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Make sure you subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff. We out. Oh shit. The Boss in the Sauce Show. Boss in the Sauce Show. Boss in the Sauce Show.